Okay, today we're with N.C. Thurman, and N.C. has been a keyboardist in the Muscle Shoals area, area ever since the start. And uh, are you from here? I'm from uh, Pulaski, Tennessee, which is about 50 miles away. But I've been in and out of here for several years. And I've been actually living here since 94. Okay. Uh, when did you start? keyboards playing piano early as I can remember really okay yeah I, uh, I was banging on it back when I was three or four years old and they used to make me play all the time and one thing led to another and then piano lessons and uh, high school bands and, and rock and roll which is where I am right now <laughs> what was your first band uh, a group uh, from Pulaski called the Belvedere's. Uh, we played a lot of good songs. We had a, I mean, we weren't that good, but we had a real good lead, lead singer, and a guy named Wayne Hayes, Black Cat Man, that could sing Sam Cooke and uh, all that, those good old songs from James Brown. You know, we used to play all that stuff. You remember your first gig? My first gig? Uh -huh. Paying gig. <laughs> My first paying gig. I remember the first gig, too. Uh, First painting gig was Black American Legion in Pulaski, Tennessee. For I think we made ten dollars a piece. And we showed up with our hats and our pipes. We were cool. <laughs> and, but it was uh, that was the first one. And, yeah. and then there were many, many after that. Yeah, with the Belvedere's, we hung on for a couple of years and. The army kind of split us up and never really got back together. Yeah. But we're still in touch. Who are the ones of us that are still around? And how did you get you get to the shows? <laughs> the music, <laughs> uh, the music kind of attracted me. But uh, all my friends living over here, Scott and Kelvin and uh, David, everybody. You know, it's just so many great musicians and writers over here. I moved over here in 94, I guess it was, and that's, uh, that's where I am, where I'm going to, where I'm going to stay unless something, something comes along to make me want to leave. Yeah, but you, you enjoy doing it. You read it all over you. When you... Oh, I love it. I don't know what I'd do without it. It's therapy and it's, it's all kind of things, you know. It's not real profitable, but it's... Yeah, but you do music full time, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, what, what kind of, you got any projects for the future? Well, I'm always writing, you know, it's just a matter of trying to complete songs is my problem. You know, I need to, to co I need all the help I can get, you know, co-writers. I've got a, f a few little things. And uh, Scott Boyer and I have done quite a bit of writing together. And we, we've got a new project out right now, a new uh, CD. Uh, it's it's going to be, uh, uh, we've got a lot of, Hopes for you know, uh, it's, uh, you know maybe an artist picking it up, some of the songs, or you know, get lucky on them, and we got it for sale out there on the CD, baby, and just got a, a hitting the note magazines covering it this month or this coming month. Right. So uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> At least you're honest about it, NC. Well, that's the only way I know to be about it. You know, I don't pipe dream about stuff anymore. Yeah. How long you been coming to uh, Dick Cooper's party? <laughs> Since before they were Dick Cooper's parties, they were started right down this road right here, uh, Scott Boyer, and Dick eventually moved in down there, and, uh, and, and they used to have a maybe once a month or something to have a big get together, and then. Uh, that kind of ended, and uh, Dick picked up when he picked up on him when he moved up here. I uh, saw so since uh, oh Lord, since '98, I guess. You know? Yeah. But this is a perfect party place. Oh yeah. The other place was nice too. You know? It was. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful place to be. Have a party. Play some music. <laughs>
Well, I appreciate Although it. dogging me about not bringing my keyboard today, but... Uh, you didn't? I didn't bring anything to play. I wasn't thinking about playing, but I, I guess that's one of the things you come to understand when you come to a Dick Cooper party that you, if you play, you better bring it so I can play it. <laughs> I guess I'll live it down one of these days. <laughs> I sure appreciate it, Nancy. Thank you. Yeah.